Hey, what's going on? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone. It's like 9.30 at night. I probably shouldn't even be playing right now. But, I got to thinking, uh, this is my favorite guitar. One of my favorite guitars ever made. It's just, just a custom V. It's got uh, my center punch pickup in the neck and a DAF in the bridge. And one of the things about this guitar is it's got this really interesting bridge. I'll show you some and 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 string through arrangement here. And so I'll show you that in a, in some B-roll. But it's got a roller bridge. It, this guitar was not designed or built by me. This was designed and built by somebody else. It's had a roller bridge its entire life. And so there's always that age-old question, or not age-old question, but whatever. People want to talk about it on the internet. Like, how much sustain does a roller bridge kill? So what I thought I would do is I have a regular saddle bridge and it's one of these things I've been meaning to change over from the roller bridge to this and just try it and see how much sustain it kills, if any. We're gonna actually time it. So let's go ahead and play. There, I'll just time that, and we'll put them back to back with the other one. Um, I'll use the same profile, we'll use the same pedal and everything. I may not complete this whole project tonight, because like I said, it's 10 o'clock at night, or 9.30 at night or something. And uh, we'll put it back together, and then we'll time it again, and just see. Uh, maybe we'll do it sometime tomorrow or something. And we'll see how, you know, much difference in sustain there is, if any at all. I have my suspicions. Uh, what do you think? Put it in the comments below, and then we'll put this together and we'll see what happens. Well, how's it going? It's a new day. I'm back. I went ahead and changed out the bridge for the normal kind of Gibson style with regular saddles. The normal one everybody's used to, right? So now, what we're going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and time this, but I'm gonna do it in post. I'm not gonna time it right now. I'm gonna to try to play kind of the same way I did the other day. Same profile, um, same pickup, same everything, same strings, didn't even change strings. So same pickup, same settings over here, same pedal, same everything. And I'm gonna just try to pick it the same way. I actually went back and watched the other footage to see if, to make sure that I was doing this right. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play the same note and I'm going to do it about five or six times so that I know I can get a consistent, you know, kind of, of a more of a consistent sound. And then we're going to go ahead and edit this video and put it all together and I'm not even going to know the results until after this whole video is edited. So you're going to see a timer on the screen um, and I'm going to show before and after and we're going to we're going to discover it together. Okay? So, once you see that, I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Have you experimented with a roller bridge sustain and played with this? Cuz your head can tell you different things cuz people will say, "Well, a roller bridge kills sustain." Does it? I don't know. So, we're just going to find out about this together at the same time. So, let's just do it. Okay, so we're going to stop right here and I'm going to show you something. I've got some video here and some video here. And what I want to show you is, this. I'm editing this video and putting it together right now. See this hard line and how it decays off? See this hard line and how it decays off? That is the, the pick strike and then how it decays off and that's how long it takes. From there to there, okay? There to there. Twice. The amplitude is about the same on all of these, but notice that these ones are way longer and the decay is like nice and smooth, right? And down here, we've got shorter. I mean, it's like two, look at that, two up there to the three down here. 
and the pick strike is here and it comes and comes and comes and then it falls off. Now I was trying to vibrato these to try to hold them as long as possible. This fell off by itself. I did not lift the string, lift the string up or lift my finger up. Um, some people might try to say that, that I lifted my finger up and it, it fell off. No, it fell off by itself. The insane part is this one up here is the roller bridge. This one down here is the conventional Gibson style bridge. So the roller bridge actually has a longer sustain in this situation. Now, not every guitar design is going to be like that, but in this case, this roller bridge has more sustain than this Gibson style bridge. That is unbelievable to me and honestly a huge surprise. I had no idea that this was going to be the result. Hey, so I had to cut in again because this was really driving me insane. How could those results be that way? So I went back and I listened to the stock footage, like the pre-edited footage, um, again to try to figure it out. And I really think what's happening is the roller bridge. So this particular guitar has a lot of string behind the saddle, okay? And it's actually really noisy. In fact, it's to the point with the roller bridge that it would annoy me when I play, especially really loud, like in front of a, an amp, it would give you these like sympathetic vibrations that would give you these weird timing or like these weird overtones that would come from this right here. And this bridge cuts those off so that it, it doesn't come back. So I, I went and listened to it again and you could distinctly hear these strings ringing with the roller bridge. So even though the results gave me like less sustain with the Gibson bridge, I'm actually keeping this bridge on here. I'm not gonna put the roller bridge back on it because it wasn't a good sustain. It wasn't clean. It was like noisy and jangly. Um, jazz masters can have this problem sometimes. Um, other guitars that have lots of string behind the saddle can have that sort of problem. So I think that's what it is. Um, so I played it a little bit more too um, while I was editing the video actually because it just blew my mind. I was like, wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. So I was playing it and trying to figure out what actually happened here. It's not that it killed the sustain putting this bridge. It's, I'm not saying that a roller bridge has tons more sustain than a not roller bridge. What I am saying is it allowed more tones to be there, but they weren't good ones. So I'm staying with this anyway. Anyway, I wanted to share that because it, there's more to it, right, than just the time of the note. It's Is it good? You know what I mean? So anyway, I just want to interject that. Okay, back to the video. All right, so we found out the result together. Obviously, this is before I did all that. I don't know anything. So I'm just going to tell you, do me a favor and subscribe. Hit the little but the bell next to the subscribe button also. That way you know the next time we do a cool video just like this one. Do me a favor also and let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you have another idea for a weird test like this, I know it's not scientific, but it's all we have. It's like how we test stuff. It's how we do stuff. And people are going to say, well, you can get a bunch of instruments and get super... Real life isn't like that. I like to just... Does it sound right? Hmm? No? Yes? Maybe? I don't know. This is not... There's science to it. But if you just play, just play, that's all I'm saying. So in the comments, people are going to blow up how crazy you could get with testing all this and how scientific it, be, it could be. But every guy is literally, and gal who plays guitar is going to just be like, yeah, I think it sounds okay. That's what I'm going to use. It's that simple. Put your comments below. Let me know. Hit the subscribe button. And we'll talk about it some more in the comments. And maybe we'll do another video testing something else.